Hi, in this video we will learn how to create a custom technology library in ADS. The content is based on the work done by our ex-application expert Dave Morris. So thank you Dave for providing this material. In the ADS main window, create a new dummy workspace. Go to the file menu, new library. In the pop-up window that opens, provide a suitable name for the library that you would like to create. So for example, I provide this particular name. Make sure that there are no special characters like an apostrophe which I was going to add by mistake. Browse to the location where you would like to save this library. Make sure that Setup Layout Technology immediately after creating library is enabled or checked. Click on Create Library. Another window will open which will ask you to define what units you would like to assign for this layer technology. Choose the appropriate layer that you would like to use. Click on finish. Now in the same workspace go to options technology layer definitions. This layer definition window provides you the list of default ADS layers and also the capability to add new material layers. At the top of this window there is an option to view technology for this library. Make sure that from the drop down you choose the correct library to which you want to define the layer definitions. So in this case is the library name which we just created. After that, go to the Layers tab and create the number of layers that you would like to by clicking on Add Layer. I will show you how you input the fields for layer definition for one field and the rest you can do it yourself. So provide some meaningful name. For example, I provide metal 1. You can leave the number for the layer to default. Just make sure that the library attached to this particular layer is the one that you have created. And also make sure that it's the correct process rule. So for example, if you wanted to add a via layer, then just go again to add layer. Let's say we make via 1, 2. And now in this case, the process rule will have to be changed from conductor to conductor via. This way you can define multiple layers for this technology. Now you can see here that, that I have created my custom uh, conductor as well as via definition layers to be used in any workspace that I would like, which will be attached to this particular substrate technology library. Press OK. Now go to File menu back in the main window, New and Substrate. Here again, make sure that you change the library to your custom library name. In this step, we will be creating the Substrate Stackup layers based on the technology 
layer definitions that we have just created. Provide some name to this substrate and use a default template to start with. Press and click Substrate. This step opens up the Substrate Editor window and you would see the default substrate definition. Manually map the custom layers that you had created onto this template. To do that, so you would have to do this manually first time, but from uh, later onwards, whenever you use this uh, technology library in any other workspace, your custom substrate will appear automatically. So I'll go ahead and map the layers to the substrate definition. I will change this conductor layer to metal one. Then I'll map another conductor layer, which I will map it to metal two. Another conductor layer to metal three. And another one to metal four. Now I will insert the vias between the different metal layers. To do that, right click on the dielectric material and just choose map conductor via. So as you can see here, ADS is automatically assigning this via 1 to layer definition between metal 1 and metal 2. However, it may happen that it assigns a different layer. In that case, you can just go to the layer tab and choose the correct layer from here in the drop down. And also make sure that the process rule for the layers that you define is correct. I'll go ahead and map the other conductor vias. Save the substrate definition. And now our substrate uh, definition is complete for this technology setup. Go back to the ADS main window and go to the library view tab. Here you will see that the technology library that you had created appears as one of the library definitions. And when you expand it, you would see the substrate definition as well that we just created. Right click on this uh, new technology definition that you have created and go to configure library. This is an important step because this enables this particular library to be used independently in multiple workspaces. When you click on configure library, a library configuration editor window opens. In this window, go to technology and enable allow this technology to be used by other libraries. So again, this is a very important step. If you do not enable this, you will not be able to use this technology library in any other workspaces. Say apply and you can say OK. When you do this, if you browse to your, to your desktop directory where, uh, where your uh, current technology definition has been created. Browse to that particular folder and browse to the library folder that you have created you would see that a file called esof underscore lib dot cfg is created. This is the configuration file. If you open this file in a text editor, it will look something like this. 
Now we go back to the ADS main menu where we were configuring the library. In the library configuration editor window, go to design kit. Provide the name of the design kit which is your custom library, this one, my, lam my underscore laminate underscore tech one. and browse to the root uh, of for this design kit which is the location or where this uh, library sits so this is the folder where this library sits so I select this folder and this is where you can define the versions for your design kit or for your custom library so since this is the first time we are creating it I will give it version 1.0. If you make any further changes or modify this library or update it, you can keep this original library and save the updated one with a des uh, different design kit version. Say apply. Now if we go back to the same folder where uh, for, for this particular technology library and look at the ease of underscore lib configuration file again in the editor text editor you would see that now you have a design kit name and a version as well as the directory attached to it. So this is a verification that your design kit changes have been applied. So here we can go ahead and say OK. In this step, we have almost finished the configuration for the technology library. There are a few more steps left before we can start using this newly created custom technology library in different workspaces. So one of the steps that you need to do is you need to browse to the folder where you created this dummy workspace. So I can right click on the name of this workspace and explore in file system and in the folder where the files for this workspace sit there are two files called layout.prf and schematic.prf just select these files and copy them to the location where your newly created technology library file sits So as you can see that this technology library folder already contains the layout.prf and schematic.prf files but what we want to do is we want to replace them with the ones from the workspace so we just replace them. Now the configuration for this newly created technology library is complete. The next step is to make this um, library uh, uh, available as a favorite library which you can easily add to new or other workspaces. The final step to completing the definition of this technology library is to create this lib.devs file. Using any text editor, create the lib.defs file in this format.
Now go back to ADS, go to Design Kits, Manage Favorite Design Kit, add Library Definition File and browse to the folder where we just created this lib.devs file. Click on it and add. This adds the particular library definition that you have created, the technology, into your favorite design kits, which means that every time you open or create a new workspace, this custom created technology will be available as one of the default libraries that you can add to your current workspace. Now let's test whether our newly created custom technology file works in a new workspace. Go back to the file menu in ADS and create a new workspace. I will give it some name and a certain location. Remember at this stage, go to click on change libraries and from here you can add your newly created custom technology definition file by enabling it from the list of favorite libraries. So I will enable it here and say OK. And when I click create workspace, uh, ADS asks me that what layout unit uh, definition that I want to associate with this workspace and library. So I will choose my technology library resolution. Now right click on the name of the workspace, go to new and layout. When you create the new layout, Click on the Substrate Editor icon to view the material technology. And now you can see that automatically the substrate stack up we had created for this custom technology library appears as a default. So every time you want to use a certain layer technology in very different workspaces, you just need to include it from your favorite design kits and not have to create it every time or modify it every time. So I hope this video helped you to understand how you can create custom technology libraries for your, uh, for your particular layer definitions or material definitions and it will be useful in streamlining your workflow. Thank you.